Well, good afternoon. My name is Reed Porter. I'm an attorney here in Dallas and the president of ACT, Advocates for Community Transformation. My family and I live in a neighborhood in Dallas where I feel the freedom to allow my children to play out in the front yard, to ride their bikes up and down the street, and even go puddle jumping when it rains. I want you to know Matthew and his mom, Rita Garcia. When I first met the Garcias, they were living on a street in West Dallas where Matthew wasn't allowed to play out in the front yard or to ride his bike up and down the street because of drug dealers lurking on every corner. My wife and I live in a neighborhood where we feel the freedom to go on walks in the evening without being threatened by a prostitute. Ms. Garcia shared with us, however, though, on, the, on one night uh, walking to the grocery store, she was actually solicited as a prostitute. My family and I have never been awoken to the sound of gunshots in the middle of the night as we sleep safely in our beds. But unfortunately for the Garcia family, the sound of gunfire in the middle of the night is all too frequent an event before they engaged with ACT. And while the Garcias only live less than 10 miles from my home, there is a vast gulf of injustice between us. For decades, drug-related crime has had a powerful hold on inner city communities like the one the Garcias live in. Owners of drug houses, houses that are harboring drugs, violence, and prostitution, are causing law-abiding men and women, families just like the Garcias, to feel like prisoners in their own homes. And living through years of that kind of experience brings about a culture of despair. But that's where ACT comes in. ACT is a new model of ministry that uses the justice system to empower inner city residents to fight crime on their street while sharing with them the hope of the gospel. Our vision is to see a safe neighborhood where crime is no longer tolerated and where dignity and hope are restored. We develop deep relationships with people and families like the Garcias who want to see change. We then partner them with top-ranked law firms who then hold their case, take their cases all the way to the courthouse, and together we hold the owners of those drug houses accountable. We have a big goal in all of our target neighborhoods, which is to reduce crime over a five-year period by 50%, and it's working. So in our legacy neighborhoods in West Dallas, where we began work over nine years ago, we've now seen a 50% reduction in crime in each of those communities. What that means is there's a 50% reduction in the most egregious crimes you could think of. These are rapes, murders, burglaries, aggravated assaults. What it also means is that families that live in our neighborhoods are 50% uh, are half as likely to be a victim of crime today as they were before they partnered with ACT. Thankfully, about three years ago, we had the chance to replicate our work in a new area of Dallas called South Dallas. And thankfully, the crime continues to trend towards that 50% reduction as well. It's truly amazing to get to witness these neighborhoods that we serve in become safer places for families like Rita and her son, Matthew, and to uh, witness that even when crime rates around the city are increasing. We've represented now 125 families, just like the Garcias, to resolve 125 crime-ridden properties. And because of the courage and the bravery of families like the Garcias and support from donors and volunteers, we're making a huge difference. Men and women are actually seeing a safer community. What it means is that 125 of these drug houses are actually no longer centers for drug trade, but they're quiet. It means that the families that live around these neighbors are experiencing relief. It means that families that were once isolated and afraid are now feeling empowered and united. It means that where there was violence, there's now peace. As a young lawyer uh, who got this off the ground over nine and a half years with a lot of amazing people, it's really humbling to see what the Lord has done over the last several years. In fact, we celebrate 10 years at the end of 2018. And not only do we wanna celebrate what uh, has happened over the last several years, we wanna dream about the future. We're excited about the next decade of impact we're gonna have on our city and beyond. And so we're dreaming big. We're dreaming in a way that's scary and smart. We wanna see two things happen. We're asking ourselves, how do we scale the model that has impacted crime and violence in places like West and South Dallas and scale it to impact the entire city? And second of all, how do we take our model uh, from the city of Dallas and take it to markets outside the city, to places around the US that need it? We believe over the last 10 years, we have proven our concept and that we have proven that we can scale and replicate around Dallas and across the country. But we can't do it ourselves. We need your help. We need to raise up a, just, a group of justice-minded individuals 
who want to stand beside our clients, come alongside them and say, enough is enough. And neighborhoods across the country, neighborhoods where there are drug houses that are imposing on the safety of families like the Garcias, there's a little Matthew who is living under the danger of crime and violence. But that doesn't have to be the case. We wanna serve thousands of families like the Garcias across Dallas and across the nation so that little children like Matthew can grow up in a safe neighborhood, a neighborhood where there is justice, a neighborhood where there is peace, a neighborhood where moms and dads feel the freedom to allow their children to play out in the front yard, to ride their bikes up and down the street and even go puddle jumping when it rains. We wanna see neighborhoods where people feel the freedom to live out their full potential, to flourish. We have a solution. I hope you'll join us. Thank you.